We talked a lot about leaders in the last episode, and it's something we clearly need. And it's got me wondering, what is it that makes a really good leader? Is it the ability to hide your deficiencies through fantastic hair? Is it the ability to bounce back defeat after defeat? Or is it just being able to have exceedingly good dance moves? I looked at all the leaders that we have in real world, and then I wonder, who do I look up to? And then I remembered, as a kid, there was one person I could always rely on and who I wanted to be more than anything else in the world. No, we haven't signed a mutated Ninja Turtle, but I do think you know what this means. Drop the intro. Yes, he may not be able to wield swords, he may not be a mutant ninja reptile. I don't know if it's a reptile, is it a reptile? Yeah, I'm going to say it's a reptile. But Leonardo Bonucci is now here at Arsenal, and as you can tell, he is top quality. Still physically pretty decent at 34 years old. His mentals are to die for 18 determination, 18 leadership. Incredible. Technically still a wonderful player as well. 17 passing from the back is going to be superb. But will he make an appearance today as we make the trip to Vicarage Road for the start of the season? No, is the answer to that question, bluntly. Uh, he will not be starting today while he gets used to the team, but he will be on the bench for Nathan Wood. Since the last episode, nothing has happened, apart from that Reese Nelson has actually gone to Manchester City. £48 million I had to part with to let him go. He complained, he whinged, there was nothing I could do about it. I wanted to keep him here, he played so well last year. I wanted to keep him, but he just wanted to go, and I'm absolutely gutted, because when I look at it, he could have been a phenomenal player for us, but he's decided to go pretty much for the money, and I'm a little bit gutted. But potentially, we could be playing him today in the second game of today's episode as we host Man City, but before that, it's the old rivals Watford. So the lineup today is going to be Levakovic in goal, Tierney, Rugani, Milankovic and Bellerin as the back four. Declan Rice, Lewis Cook and Joe Willock still make up the midfield three after a pretty poor performance against Liverpool, but they are only going to get better if I play them together. Sane is on the left, Pepe regains his place on the right and Fabio Silva makes a first start up front for us today. It's a big episode today it is of course the start of the Premier League season we have aspirations of winning the title and to do that these are the places we need to go and win we did manage to win at Vicarage Road last year but then we lost them at the Emirates can we please just do a double over Watford please I'm really really excited I cannot wait to see this team in full flow full action I am working on the other formation I was tempted to play it today but I feel that Benucci needs to get himself a little bit more into the team before I just throw him in at the deep end plus last year we played this formation against Watford and it worked really well away from home so let's hope that we can do that again there is a total mess as you can tell because I've just shaken it and it's falling all over the gaff it will be cut off by the end of the week I promise until then think of me as like a kind of mad professor like Arsene but like with better hair and not quite as good at management. And we've got a highlight here. Nearly 20 minutes in. Fabio Silva does well to press the keeper there. But it falls to Jared Delefeu. He hits the ball over the top of Bellerin. But not quite. Joe Willock. Coming off of being player of the year last year. With a lovely ball to Bellerin. Pepe. Who's now got competition for that place. With Pedrinho in the squad. Fabio Silva. Who's made a very good start here. To Nicolas Pepe. Pepe's in. And it's a brilliant save there from Altai. Who seems to have taken over in the Watford goal from Ben Foster. A decent save. But a good opening for us there. Very good start to the game. Pepe whips it in. Fabio Silva. He's a bit of a live wise Fabio Silva as well. He's a big lad, so we're going to have a little bit more threat in terms of the air as well. As Pepe whips one in again, and Pereira knocks it clear to Ducore. Doesn't look like Watford have moved that many players on, to be fair. They've got Miazga at the back, and he's quite a decent player. They've got Cam Chambers, obviously one of our players, playing at right back. They've got Montez and Windau. So basically, all their front players are exactly the same. It's just they've changed their defence around completely. Tierney to Declan Rice into Lewis Cook. Cook into Joe Willett. Go on, mate. Have a crack. We know you want to. Oh, Willett plays it back to Rice. A little bit. Not expressive there. I thought he was going to take a hit, but Bellerin's into the box. That's a disgusting foul, but that's going to be outside the box. We don't even need to check that it's a penalty. We both know that that was outside the box. He won't get a yellow card. He'll just get warned. Sane whips the ball in. And how has Milenkovic not tucked that away? He's right under the crossbar. 
Well, Altai Banyondi, or whatever his name is, is having a very good game because he's playing at 7.2 at half time. I'm going to assertively say I'm far from pleased with what I've just seen. I'm not really. We actually play quite well in that. We're going to stick with what we've got for the time being. I'm not displeased with what I've seen. I think we've actually played quite well. I think we're unlucky to go in level at the break. We really, really have dominated this game. And it looks like we have the first highlight of the second half as Declan Rice plays the ball back to Rugani. Rugani into Joe Willock. Rugani. Great ball over the top there. Looking for Pepe. Don't shoot, for God's sake. Oh, Pepe's given the ball away. Not a great touch from him there. Decore on the ball. Chips it out to Callum Chambers. Please don't let them score here. Go on, Chambers. Give the ball away. He has. He's given the ball away to Sane. Sane. Back post. Pepe. Great header. It's off the post. Oh, pa Fabio Silva's got to run in there and poke that in. All right. We're nearly an hour in and it's not happening. Uh, I'm going to take Cook off. And I'm going to bring on... I'm going to bring on Pedrinho. And I'm going to put Pedrinho there in that attacking midfield slot. And I have Declan Rice move forward. He's going to be playing as a deep line playmaker now. And I can get Joe Willock onto the attack, attacking advanced playmaker. Let's get him a bit further forward. And I want to see what Padrino does in the hole. Oi, oi. Pepe whips the ball in. Rugani! Boom! 1-0. Defender scores our first goal of the season. Daniel Rugani. Benucci might be here. But Rugani does not want to give his place up. That's a fantastic header. And don't forget, Rugani and Benucci already know each other from Juventus. They probably played a fair bit together as well. So we've got basically a ready-made partnership already there. It's just I can't take Milenkovic out because he's probably our best defender. Do you know what I mean? Until Benucci got here, obviously. Don't foul him, Pepe. I think I've got to take Pepe off because he's he's risking getting a book in here. But Pedrinho's on the ball. Now watch him go here. Pedrinho, good ball there into Fabio Silva. Great ball from him to Leroy Sane. Must be. Bang! What a goal. Oh, what a fantastic counter-attack. 2-0 flying. Leroy Sane gets his first of the season. And Fabio Silva gets his first assist for the club. And it was all assisted by Pedrinho as well. Lovely ball here from Pedrinho into Fabio Silva. The weight of pass is fantastic. Sane takes the touch and finally we score a one-on-one. 2-0 -on -one, away at Vicarage Road. I will take that all day. I'm going to take Pepe off and I'm going to bring on Memphis Depay. Sane can go into the middle. Actually, no, Depay can stay in the middle. Now, Padrinha goes out to that uh, right-hand side. And I'm going to take off... Uh, I'm going to take off Rigani because he's quite tired. And I'm going to bring on Leonardo Benucci for his first appearance... In an Arsenal shirt. Bring him on. Let's get that leadership on there. He's not captain this year. Um, Declan Rice is actually the captain this year. Which sounds a bit weird. Because obviously I've just signed him in. But he's already registered as a team leader. As is Benucci. We now have a lot of players. That are fulfilling that team leader role. Which is exactly what we need. We've got a lot more determination. A lot more leadership. A lot more players that have been there. Done it. Have won stuff. Great ball from Silva. I mean, he's picking passes out left, right, and centre. Padrino's in on goal. Padrino, that's a foul. Disgusting from Wayne Dow. What a tackle. Git. I mean, we were doing really well, and now Fabio Silva's picked up an injury. I mean, the pie's going to go up front, but piss off. Seriously. Was there really any need? Was there any need for that? There's always just got to be something that just, just pisses me off. Just does something slightly wrong. You git. Corner, Padrini whips it in. Sane nearly underneath it here. And don't you dare. Will Hughes out to Delefeu. And they've got men over here. Look at us piling back. But look at them going forward. Saar, no one's going to catch him. Saar, Saar. That's a woeful effort, mate. A 2-0 win. Very, very happy considering it's away at Vicarage Road. One of the hardest games that we have over the season is done and dusted. And as you can tell here, all the big guns have won. We won. Liverpool won. Leicester have won. And City have won. Oh, what the... What the hell? Two to five weeks, Fabio Silva will be out. We have to settle with Harland, aren't we? The other thing is now, I've got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles song in my head now. Because let's face it, it's one of the catchiest theme tunes ever. If you can name me a catchier children's TV theme tune, then please let me know in the comment section. Go Italian! A bye, let's go Italian. I mean, let's get defensive. God, there are some big games this weekend. United host Liverpool. We host City. I mean, that that's pretty big as it is. I mean, that's tough. Three of the top four from last year. Actually, that's the entire top four from last year. What am I talking about? And United hold Liverpool to a draw. Can't believe I'm celebrating that. I feel dirty. 
And it's a tough one when it comes to Austin City. We're very evenly matched. Sometimes we blitz them off the park, and sometimes they absolutely smash us. So it's hard to tell, really, at the moment, what way we should go. Do I go with our normal formation now, then? Or do I mix it up a little bit and go with the three at the back? So to walk you through this, then, this is the new formation I have been working on, okay? So 5-4-1, but... We've got additional support now on the wings. We've got the wing backs and Tierney and Bellerin, but then I've got Sane and Pepe either side as the inside forwards, but they're on support as well, so I'm not going to leave one up front like I normally do. Declan Russ is going to do the protecting, while Joe Willick is going to play making the middle. Haaland's going to be a pressing forward today, but then at the back here, I mean, can you think of a better back three than this? Rigani, Benucci, and Milenkovic. It's an insanely good back three. And when I look at that, I'm thinking we should really be winning this game. Saliba is on the bench as well. I know a lot of you guys have been keen to see him. And he is on the bench. So you probably will get to have a look at him today. I'm also going to bring on Ben Chilwell as well onto the bench. Because he's a very good left wing back. Right. Let's give it a go. I mean, I've not played it before. But we might as well. Why not? I mean, that's what I brought Bonucci in for. I brought him in here for the big games. To help us get through these tight games to be, a, well, we've always been quite defensively solid since I've taken over, but even more so today. We're going to have to sacrifice the midfield to City anyway. Look at their team here. They've got this boy as well, Florentino Luis, who's absolutely, insanely good. Uh, defensive midfielder, absolutely incredible. Another one of those Benfica wonder kids. Right, I'm going to say certainly. Go on out there and carry on straight from where you picked off. Come on, Leonardo. Lead us to victory. This is a very much a counter-attacking formation as well. We're, we're going to hit them a lot on the break. And we might be sacrificing a bit of the ball. But I want to test it out and see how we get on with it. And this is a good start. Sane against his old club, don't forget. Now watch him here. Just absolutely piles through players. Haaland scores, but he's offside. Of course he is. The one time that he actually finishes a chance. And he's bloody offside. But that was good from us there. Insanely good counter-attack in Sane. This pass here is ridiculous. But Haaland just... Oh, he could have held it there as well. He didn't need to make that run so early. Normally, I go toe-to-toe -to -toe with City, and I do kind of want to play that. But this seems like a really good game to test out this formation. They've got one of the best attacks in the entire game. So, if we can do well against this, it shows that Benucci's a genius. Better wants the ball in. Sane doesn't quite get the Tierney. Sane, oh my god, he's in a wide. We've had two highlights in the first 15 minutes. Both of them have fallen to us. I cannot believe we have not scored there. I'm going to tell the boys to get a bit creative. And, I mean, it seems very oxymoronic to do that with the formation that we're playing. And, yes, I just used the word oxymoronic. Check me out. Corner to us again here. Pepe on the ball. Whips it in. Benucci! Oh, my God. I thought he'd scored. Milankovic back to Pepe. Whip it in, whip it in, whip it in. Pepe! Sane! Oh, he's at the bar, you... How many times are we going to hit the flipping post? That's the second time today. City on the ball now. They're moving it around nicely. James and Florentino Luis moving it between them. Dybala to Florentino Luis. Phil Foden on the ball. Hits it. He hits the bar now. Bonucci heads it clear. Of course he does. Legend. Willock. Oh, God. It's Pepe. He smacks it long. Haaland's in down the line here. Hold it up, Alfie. Hold it. Hold it. I was going to call him Alfinger there. But it's not. It's Erling. Erling. Erling v Sterling. Well, it looks like the formation's doing quite well. We've kept it to a nil and then we've probably been the better team. I know that we've sacrificed a lot of possession, but we're playing quite well. I'm going to say I'm very pleased with how you're doing, boys. Keep it up. Sane's disappointed a bit, but he's the one that's created the chances. He created the offside goal for Haaland, and he's at the post. So maybe that's what's bringing him down to a 6.5, is the fact that he hasn't tucked those chances away. Okay, right. It's not happening for Leroy Sane. I'm going to take him off, and I'm going to... I think we need a bit more. It's time to go possession. We've done this before. We'll do it again. Uh, I'm going to take off Daniel Rugani. I'll get Benucci playing as that ball defensive midfielder. Then I'm going to bring on Lewis Cook. He's going to go in and play. Uh, so let's get him playing as a deep line playmaker on support. And then let's get... Let's get Willock on Mazala. We'll take Sane off and bring on... Memphis Depay. Let's try that. I know Haaland's not having a good game, naturally. Actually, he's playing a 6.8. I tell a lie. Sorry, mate. I feel I did him a disservice there. Oh, here we go. They've had a highlight straight in the minute. I changed the bloody formation. He's offside. You shouldn't have finished it. The porter shouldn't have touched that. If he hadn't touched it, they would have scored. Is this going in anyway? Foden. Is this going in? It is. If he leaves that, Laporte, he doesn't need to touch that. 
He really doesn't need to touch that. That's really poor from him there. Poor, poor, poor from a Merrick Laporte. <laughs> poor, poor, poor from Laporte. <laughs> oh. Jesus looking for Aguero. Who's that? He's just outpaced. That, that's not Milenkovic, is it? Come on, mate. You've got more pace than that. Aguero must be like 32 or something in this game, isn't he? 33 and he's outpacing you. 15 acceleration at 33. That's nuts. Right, Declan Rice has been decent, but I think now is the time to go for it. Padrino is going to come on again. He's going to go into that attacking midfielder role. Lewis Cook's going to play as the deep line playmaker on defend. Let's get Padrino on. Let's get him in behind Haaland. Let's make some magic happen. And there's a highlight straight away. Milenkovic on the ball. Hits it towards Bellerin. Great touch there by Hector. Go on, Hector. Bellerin into Pepe. Pepe into Padrino. Go on, mate. Great ball. Great ball by Padrino to Bellerin. Hector. Hector. Oh, what a save by Edison. How has he saved that? He's literally four yards out and he still can't beat him. Bellerin. Whips it in. Oh, my God. Pepe. He's pressing Mendy. Mendy clears it only as far as Bellerin. Bellerin back on the ball. Roast him again. He's playing out of his skin so far. Willock. That is awful. But Memphis Dubai manages to pick it up. Go on, Memphis. Roast him. He whips it in. Bellerin at the back post. Hits it. He's at the bar. Haaland. Pedrinha. Someone. Oh, my God. That's the third time we've hit the flipping bar. Give it a rush. Two minutes have added on time to go. I don't think it's going to happen. I cannot believe we haven't won this game. We've had the chances. I'm disappointed only because only because we should have won that game. We should have won that game. We had the chances and they uh, maybe if Silver had been playing. I'm going to say unlucky boys. It just wasn't our day. Benucci played it at 7. Legend. Absolute legend. Right. Well, ooh. Well, considering we haven't had one in a while, it's time for a North London derby. So what we're going to do is we have the first game of our Champions League group and then we're going to have our home game against Tottenham. Obviously, we don't know who we've got in the Champions League yet. Hopefully, it'll be a bit of an easier group than it was last year because last year was quite difficult. Um, but I imagine it's probably going to be round about the same because I don't think we've gone up in terms of affiliation or anything or coefficients or whatever the hell you want to call it. But a North London derby, always to get a little bit excited about. Thank you so much for watching the episode. I hope that you have enjoyed it. Of course, if you have, then please do like, share, and subscribe. Are you happy that we bought in Benucci? What did you think of the new formation? Let me know all in the comment section. As I said, please do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for all your time, and until I see you in the next episode, stay cool.